Okay, so I haven't put out a video of my uh, progress for a while um, with Christmas and the holidays and everything. Uh, everything else that happened in December, which was not a good month for me. But um, <clears throat> this is kind of where I'm sitting at right now. I've been sitting here working a little bit today. Um, I just got a piece this one here so that's all I've done so far this morning was one piece um, but as you can see it, it's it's coming and as I do these pieces um, as I put them on I let them overhang and then I clip them and then once I get it completely glued then I trim it make it look real nice and and flush oh crap this is the problem that I keep having I don't know if you can see this you can see it right there is every time I touch this stuff it breaks so then I gotta try to fix it and repair it and glue it back in without losing the piece I've had several pieces like that right there that have popped off, um, especially around all these windows. These windows look really bad. I mean, you can see how bad some of these look. They're not square. Um, I've overcut in certain spots. This one's kind of wider. You know, this side's going this way and this side's going this way. Um, Right, right in here, I had a bunch of pieces crack. This, this, these pieces here are extremely fragile and extremely difficult to cut. Um, shaving them here is is kind of easy, but again, I keep getting these, and now it broke off, and I don't know where it went. Crap. So now I'll have to figure out how to fix that. Um. One of my other problems along this top edge, now I'm going to have a piece that's going to sit on here. So this rough looking piece cut here, this will be hidden. Um, I believe it will be at least. Uh, and here you can see where I've got a patch. I've got a seam here and a seam right there where as, as I'm holding, as you can tell when I'm holding this, I'm holding it by this top edge and the bottom like that. So I've kind of finally gotten to where all the uh, overlap, I've sanded enough here and, and got, handled this enough. But when I was first working on this, I completely broke off this entire piece here um, and I just patched it in. So I haven't sanded anything yet, really. Of, I've sanded a little bit up here. You can see, you know, it's... I've got some stuff going on here. Uh, this is a bad spot here where it's, I'm gonna have to sand that. The problem with this, again, is this stuff is so thin that there's hardly anything to sand. So I won't be able to do much fixing. But <clears throat> so far, it's looking okay. Now one of the things, and I keep, in all my videos, I keep talking about this the the keel one of the things that i did that i'm now regretting was i left this hole i didn't close this up like i did the rest of this now obviously this hole is for this little nub right here where my fingers are at um but i left enough of a spot here for the keel to uh in inlay i guess inset whatever which I'm now regretting that I did it that way. But I think it'll it'll end up being okay. Cause that looks it looks alright. What I'm worried about though is later on in the build when I'm building all the rest of this out, is that little bit that that sets in going to end up messing me up. So what I'm planning on doing is trying not to inset it that much and just let it sit 
to where hopefully, I mean, I don't know if you can see or not. I've got a bunch of gap, like right, right above where my finger's at, which this, once I fill all that in, should fill that spot. Um, anyway, I, I messed up there. I shouldn't have done that like that. And that was me not knowing uh, how this fit together. Um, as you can tell, originally I left, I was leaving the keel open, or the false keel, I guess it's called, for all these pieces. This is the, the keel. But then I, I decided to go ahead and close it in, so that way when I glue this on, it'll be a very nice transition from the hull to the keel. And again, I don't know if I'd, I'm doing it correctly or not, but this is basically how I'm deciding to do it. You can even see down here, this little spot here. This was me trying to cut this. That's when I decided to put the whole piece on there because as you can see, my cut, it looks like there's two pieces. That's one piece, but the cut wasn't straight because trying to cut these pieces this way, this stuff breaks apart so easily. It's nearly impossible for me to cut. So what I've, this is me figuring things out. What I've done is I've taken this uh, little ruler that I have and it's got a magnet on it, but it's it's got some girth and some heft with the magnet on there that by setting it, I don't know if you can see this or not. Not really. Come here, you. But basically, I'll set it on my cutting board. I'll set this down, put pressure on it, and then I'll make my cut. Like if I need to cut something like an angle like that. Um, that's still not working very well. Uh, which kind of messes me up for things like this, or that, or these pieces back here. So, anyway, this is just a quick little up-to-date. I am still working on this. I am still making some progress. What I'm, what I'm getting done, I'm, I'm really liking. Um, for these pieces like this, I've decided to do something that I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to try it. And that's basically, I'm going to take a piece of paper. These are my little gift cards from my local hobby shop. which are expired. Well, that's awesome. Didn't realize these only had a short amount of time. But anyway, what my plan is, is I'm gonna set this over where my piece needs to be. I'll have to do a different size piece, something that I can, shit, this isn't gonna work either. I may have to use tape. Anyway. My thought is to set something over that, take a pencil, and I don't know if you can see that or not. But make my own little template. And right there's the outline of that, that piece there. Then I can cut this out. Of course, I'm gonna have to do a lot better because as you can tell, this section here looks all wonky, uh, which obviously it's not that way there. But then I can, I can cut this, um, lay it down on top of one of my pieces and use it as a template to make the piece. That's my thought, that's my, we'll have to see if it works or not which right now I don't know. Some of the things I've been, I sat here for a little while and watched some of my, my older videos. Um, and one of which I was laughing to myself about because I was talking about, uh, <laughs> I watched a video on somebody making this and they, they uh, 
we're doing a 30 day build. And I was like, yeah, I'm on progress. Even at the beginning of these, of these, uh, videos that I'm doing, I was, you know, oh, it's day one and eight, whatever time it was. And, you know, day two and blah, blah, blah. And I was thinking, oh yeah, 30 day build. I can do this in 30 days, which I think I'm now on month two. And basically all of December, uh, was a loss for me in more ways than it, it, my sister passed away on December 5th. Um, and so that was very sudden, very, um, she had figured out that she had cancer and, uh, three weeks later she passed away. So all of December was, like I said, a loss in more ways than one. So I'm, it's now January, Monday, the third, at almost one o'clock. And, uh, I'm trying to get back to doing stuff and I keep shaking the camera and I'm sorry. <clears throat> One of these days I'm hopefully get something other than my iPad sitting on two model boxes to video with. Um, of course my little channel is not really for anything other than my own personal hobby. So anyway, um. So I don't know if you can tell, I shaved my beard off. In some of my earlier videos, you can see my beard was probably down to here. But when I first found out my sister had cancer, I shaved all my hair. Um, I made a video of it for her, but she never got to see it. So, anyway. Um, before I start crying, I'm going to cut this off. So, uh, There we go. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day. See ya.